Hello, welcome to the first part of this tutorial. Uh, in this section, I'll be showing you how to create a 3D Kinua G soft drink soda can like the one you can see over here. And we'll do this by using a couple of photos and changing the blend modes and using a number of rectangle solids and the and the new property, the new 3D property in Adobe Photoshop CS4. So let's get started. First of all, so to open a new project, just right click on this photo, the background photo, open with Photoshop, and it, it will create a, a work area the same size as the photo. And let's create a, a rectangle on top of this, a blue rectangle. Mm, mine is already, my color is already selected to blue. Let's uh, link this from the vector mask and delete the ve vector mask. And let's change the the blending mode. Go to blending options, blending mode, and change it to lighter color. Press OK. And let's import another photo. So let me import the, the photo. Mm. I saved it in one of my local disks here. And we are just using it for the purpose of, of blending mode. So let's just distort it as long as we are trying to fill the whole work area with the, the photograph then press any key to place the photograph and then let's change the blending options go to blending mode and change it to hard mix you see we are starting to get somewhere Wow, now let's add an orange rectangle. Something like that. Mm, let's delete this. Let's make another one, an orange one. And link delete vector mask and then go to blending options and change this to hard mix now to lighter color we get this kind of look now let's impo import our last photo so file place and it's in this same local disk here mm, let me look for it Yeah, it's for this beautiful girl. So let's stretch it out. And then press any key to place. Then let's change the blending options to the blending mode to hard mix. And there we have it. Uh, we can also to add those kind of streaks that you see everywhere here. We'll just add a filter to the to the last photo here. Choose one. Can't remember the one. I think I used this one originally. Play around with the settings here, trying to make it uh, as crunchy as feasible as possible. When you're done, just press OK and boom, there you have it. 
Okay, now let's add our text. Click and write Kinyuaji. Enter soft drink. And then let's select that and let's change the paragraph settings change this to around 24 no around 30 change this to 48 and then let's change to this search style and let's drag the the text to the middle of the composition. Let's position it well. And then let's lastly let's add a final orange solid here to kind of separate the name from the background. Uh, let's kind of position it well. Drop it below the text layer and change the blending mode to lighter color actually I think we'll change it to screen press ok and then let's merge these layers select the first one shift click the last one to select all the layers right click and press merge layers now with this one one layer we can create a 3d can this are all presets made out of 3d programs like 3d max or 3d maya and instead of going to, to a 3d program we'll just use these presets for everyone who doesn't know how to use a 3d program so just press soda can uh, press OK and boom that's the soda can uh, we want this logo to come in the front so let's use the rotate tool if you try to rotate it it's hard to get it to, to move on the right axis so what I usually do is use the numeric values here on top change this back to zero change this back to zero and then let's change the Z axis to around 65. Click away and boom. Okay, let's change this to around 60. And we're done. So we save this as PNG. The reason we're doing that is because we don't want it to save with the background. If you save as JPEG, it will save with the background. PNG is the best format because it saves with the mats. It saves with two parts, a, a white part and a black part. Uh, the white part is going to be opaque, will be the can, and then the white part will be transparent so, so that you can view it without having to, to view the background because it doesn't even have a background. But if you use...